looking fabulous, honey. Thank you. 60 looks great on you. Uh, 65, excuse me. Has it been that long? And I would never deny a day of it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I what do you mean, has it been that long that I've been alive? Years, no, five years, because the last time I spoke to you, you were ready to celebrate the big six out. That's right. Wow. Oh, my wow. gosh. Oh, that's yeah. way, way too, too long. Well, y'all don't invite me. You don't like me. Whatever. <laughs> you know, I see the door is always open for you. You know, I was talking to one of our millennials, and she was like, I didn't know that she gave herself or somebody gave her the name Iyanla. Can you explain yeah. to our millennials about the transformation. Uh, yes. I went I went through an initiation uh, 35 years ago. Yeah. And whenever you do a deep spiritual process like an initiation, when I became a Yoruba priestess, I would my name was changed. So the elders um, give you guidance and counsel and they give you a name that supports your new nature. Mm. And so Iyamla means great mother. And it's not about mothering children or birthing children. It's about what mothers do, which is teach and nurture and beautify and nourish. So wow. that's what I do. Teaching is your purpose. Teaching through Iyala Fix My Life for how many seasons now? This is five. Wow. Yeah. We're going into the fifth. Yes. Okay, and that's March 3rd. We're going to step into season five. Beloved, a traumatic <laughs> season. Let me tell you, I saw the trailer, and I kept rewinding because it was so much going on, I so know, much so stuff in so little time. Um, I did catch Trina Braxton. Okay. And first I want to discuss her because I thought the, the divorce, I mean, I thought they had a divorce and they were going their separate ways. They didn't have to really co-parent anymore because the kids are grown, right? Right. What is this about? Well, they want to have a healthy separation, oh. you know, and growing from being partners to being friends. Mm -hmm. And also there was a breakdown between Gabe and the boys. Those are not his biological children, but of yeah. course he was there. So he really wanted to mend that breakdown. And he discovers in the show that, you know, some things that I'll wait and let you see. Mm. <laughs> also, Diamond Reynolds, Philando Castile's fiance, who was in the car with him when the police gunned him down. Unbelievable. And, but I didn't know about the assault last year. Yeah. With the hammer, the, does she discuss that? No, we don't we talk don't about that. The only we thing we deal with is trauma. trauma she is hit. such a, a, you know, a, a, a magnificent demonstration of trauma yeah. because there's so much of it in our community that goes unaddressed mm -hmm. that we just don't deal with the trauma and then we live the trauma over and over and over by repeating the story by reminding ourselves and by people reminding us so while hers you know none few of us are going to have that level of trauma but we have a lot of trauma mm -hmm. in our community from death and illness and the way we talk to each other <laughs> Well, you know, just watching the show, uh, yeah. you know, we see the trauma that, you know, these families go through. Right. I wonder what it does to you. How do you cleanse after? Because with a lot of that, there's a lot of negative energy with a lot of what you do. Well, I, I don't see it as negative energy no. at all. And it's not mine, so I don't have to take it on. I mean, I do my prayer, I do my meditation. I, I do I do what, I, what a, my black girl magic. <laughs> but I, I don't take it on consciously because each guest has to come to me with an intention. They have to tell me what it is that they want to do. Mm -hmm. What I do is I listen very deeply. I listen to every word, every sound. I watch their face, their feet, their knee, their legs, how they're moving. And then I... In my listening, identify what it is that stands between them and what they say they want. To me, it's it's technical. I'm like a surgeon. I'm a spiritual technician. Right. I'm a spiritual surgeon, so I'm listening. And once I identify what stands between them and what they want, mm -hmm. I just tell them that. You know, and I give them the information. I give them the tools. Some of them do very well, and some don't. So I don't have to take that on. Right, of myself, I can do nothing. But you're human, so some things will stay with you. What what one story this season stays with you? That the one I you know stays with. They don't really stay with me. I because I don't take them on. You know what? Do you think the surgeon thinks he has to cut one patient deeper than the other? No. But, but he some just people cuts. touch you. Some people oh, touch you. Oh, every guest touch me. I have such separation anxiety from every single That's one what I'm of talking them. About. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I can imagine. And I'm like, oh my god. You know, because I fall in love with them. Yeah. I fall in love with them, even though I make them mad, 
and they <laughs> they get mad at me. Uh, but I do have a story this season that I think was just so amazing for me. I have a family. Uh, mother and father had eight children. Both of them were addicted. Um, two of the children, one is doing life in prison, another one is deceased. But uh, five sons were separated in the foster care system mm -hmm. because the parents were addicted. They were separated, these five brothers, okay. and met each other in a group home and mm -hmm. didn't even know they were, they were brothers. brothers. Blew my mind. Wow. See, that's and the kind of blew magic my mind. And that came. happens yeah. when we, yeah, I don't want to fix my life. You find out, how do you find these people? Do they reach out to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They no, reach out to you. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters. Hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of letters. Who would you say is the A student of the spiritual technician? The A student? The A student. Who's really done well after? Oh, my God. There's so many. Um... They all do well. You should ask me who didn't do well. <laughs> well, we know who didn't do well. <laughs> That's probably easy, we know easier to identify. Well. You know right. why? Here's what I know. Mm -hmm. So many people live their life just wanting to be seen and heard. They want to be heard. Nobody takes the time to listen anymore, mm -hmm. you know? And I listen, and I validate, and I hear and people really do leave their transform. Now, if they continue to do their work, they'll get the benefit. So they can be transformed and then not do their work. Right. So um, every single every single guest, I think I've only had two um, that I was like, mm, okay. Is there one thing that will fix every problem? Is there one particular thing? Like, you're not going to be able to really physically touch and, and go through the process with everybody who watches but but everybody who watches can, can say, go through the process right they can they do can, the work right but they can watch and is there one particular thing that they can do to fix any problem I forgive we spoke forgive. right i was just going to say forgive. that i remember forgive. you telling me forgive that because forgiveness yeah when you forgive you fall in love and love is the universal healer. Yeah. Most of us don't trust, don't love, and we judge because we haven't forgiven ourselves or other people. Forgiveness you, is the spiritual the laxity. Spiritual, I was just going to say, yeah, you use the term laxity. spiritual laxity. It really is. But that's why you're not having a book coming out called oh. Get Over It. Get Over Where, It? Get Over It. Whatever it is. Is your it, you know, impractical uh, techniques in living? Is, mm -hmm. your, is your it uh, inappropriate timing? What is your it? And, and and I'm teaching people how to do the work. Because the thing is, I always say do the work. A lot of people don't even have a clue of what I'm talking about. Yeah. So now I'm giving you the work to do. What is your it? Coffee, ice cream. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> my it. What would my it be? I thought. That would be my it. I, I thought. thought. You know, IT. I thought I was right. I thought this was it. I thought he was the he one. Was the one. I thought I was wrong. I thought I couldn't. I thought I should. I thought I too. That's my it. I mm. thought. Who are your heroes? Mm. Cause you're you're a lot of people's heroes. Well, I first of all, my daughter Jamia Ibae, you know, who passed away in two thousand and three. My grandmother, who was part Native American, part African American, who cooked and cleaned rich folks' houses to feed me and my brother after my mother died. Because mm -hmm. um, your mother died when you were very young. Two, yeah. You know who is who is my Shiro? Um, all of the mothers in the Marcy, Albany, Brookline, Kingsboro projects, because you know Brooklyn, that's my hometown. That's your hometown. Who just have a vision. They may never realize it. But to give yourself permission to have a vision when you are in the midst of sorrow and suffering, that's my shiro right there. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Black Panther? I haven't, but I did buy six tickets because whenever a black movie hits the screen, I buy tickets even if I don't go. You, you know what? You, you have to see it. <laughs> I am. I am. Go I, listen, I can't go to the movie, to. boo. 
Why not? Ask your community why. <laughs> okay. I got a whole theater. I know, but I've got to wait till it dies down. I can't get in the line. I can't get popcorn. And then once they realize where I am, then they're tapping me on the shoulder in the dark, taking pictures. That's how we go. I can't go to the movie. But I do, anytime a yeah. black film comes out, I buy a minimum of two tickets on Fandango, yeah. even if I don't go, because mm -hmm. I want those tickets counted. So I bought six tickets. I was trying to give away. Everybody had tickets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was telling my radio sister, Ann Tripp, I said, you know, after seeing that movie and seeing that female army, you oh, remind me of one of our yeah, soldiers. I am. You I'm a and warrior. They go and Ann Tripp, yeah. you know, she's one of my sheroes here at BLS. And you reminded me so much of the female army that we so very need. Like, we've got the Black Panther female army, but we've got the real-life female army. And you're definitely that. one of the soldiers. Thank you. Love you to pieces. I just that wish they would let me go to the movie. I well, I know. I can't go to the movie, the Walmart, the Dollar Tree. The woman chased me down in Dollar Tree. I was just trying to get my little Dollar Because you know you, you go to Dollar, Dollar, Dollar Tree? What? Yeah. I I am I black? Let me tell you, you know, because you do supermarket shopping, so I think once you get to a certain level, maybe you don't go to supermarket. No, 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 no. You know what? I refuse to give up the freedom that my ancestors fought for because somebody thinks that I'm special. I pee like everybody else. I got two feet like everybody else. I told somebody today, I just realized that the hair in my armpits is turning gray, just like everybody else's. So, yes, I go to the Dollar Tree, so the Walmart, the Target. Yeah, I love the Dollar Tarjay. Tree. Target. Oh, my good. Target. I love the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I love Target. <laughs> she says Target. I, I love Target. And J.C. Penney. They told me they were. They told me they were closing them. I was very distraught. Oh, but the Dollar Tree, I don't care when I go in there. You know, now you know what I'm doing in the Dollar Tree. I'm collecting colored glasses because they have them in different colors. So I go to the different Dollar Trees to see what color they have. I've got pink. I've got green. I've got turquoise. They're a dollar. What when can you do? You Time to do this. When the people ain't chasing me down. <laughs> the middle the of the night. Like almost five minutes before they close. Oh my like God. Yeah. No, you know what? I go in the middle of the day. When people like, are When work. nobody's there. That's why I'm waiting to go see the Now they're going to be there now, though. But the Black Panther's been crowded all day, all night, that's Tuesday, right. Friday. And that's a good thing. I even went to the Senior Citizen Show. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get in either. <laughs> I sure did. I gave them my little Fame Dango card and paid the discounted fee. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can, this is too much. Oh. <laughs> Well, we yeah, gotta get you in there. You gotta see this movie. I am. I would love to hear what you think. Well, I, everybody calls me and tells me like I wrote it. They talk to the ancestors yeah. in there. I said, yeah, mm -hmm. I've been telling you all that for years. So like, maybe you know. now people will do it, and they won't think that I'm a heathen trying to no. just send everybody to hell because I tell <laughs> people to talk to the ancestors. No, you are our soldier, Iyala Van Zandt. Everybody, whose life would you like to fix? My own. Mm. Yeah. It's, what? Ain't nobody fixing your life? No, I can't. You you know what? The cellulite has taken over the left side. It don't side. matter. Men love cellulite. I can't fix it. I can't fix it. I keep talking to the cellulite. I tried to coach it. I prayed on it. Everything. I laid Men hands. love cellulite. There's men in this room. Yeah, they love cellulite. Really? You need me to get somebody to love your cellulite? Please, child. Help your sister out. <laughs> <laughs> fix your life. Call me out. You know, okay. Help a life. sister out. It's yeah. just the left thigh. I need to fix that right there. We gonna get it taken yeah. care of. I oh, love whenever good. you stop by. I think if I had to fix anything, I would love to fix the White House. Notice I didn't say. I was gonna ask I didn't ask the people that. in the White House. Well, I didn't where would you start first? Though? <laughs> where would you start? Yeah. I'd have to ask Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Some things only Jesus can yeah. fix. I really. Oh yeah. my Lord. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. I would love to do that, but we we gonna get over that. Yeah. We gonna get over that. And let me tell you, we've added a special um, treat to fix my life this year. Something right. called behind the fix. Mm -hmm. So when the show goes off on television, okay. then you come to my YouTube channel, and I'm showing you back scenes, back you know behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Isn't mm -hmm. that wonderful? That is phenomenal. And I, we also didn't talk about the fact that I'm coming home to Brooklyn. First time in 18 years well, I'll be uh, speaking in Brooklyn. Share. Yes. Please share. Not Justin, to the Dollar Tree. No. <laughs> no. They have Dollar Trees in Brooklyn? Yeah, I believe so. They got <laughs> Where? They got everywhere. <laughs> Dollar Trees are everywhere. I know. It's like the Dollar National Store. Chapel. No, 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 no. Not store. It's 
got the same as the tree. Dollar tree. tree. Got to have the green lettuce. <laughs> well, we're okay. going to have to find out if they got them in Brooklyn. But where are you going to be? First time in 18 years I'm doing a solo tour, and I'm coming all the way across the country from L.A. to Brooklyn. I'll hit here. I start the tour April 5th, okay. and I'll hit Brooklyn May 6th. All right. And That's I'm bringing a special calendar. guest with me, I won't tell you. I'm going to be at the King Theater in Brooklyn. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I really wanted to go into the Brooklyn Academy of Music, but mm -hmm. I shop in the Dollar Tree. That should tell you Do about we my make... financial <laughs> 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 oh, We can make a call. The King Theater. No, we can make a call. Oh, no, the BAM is. That's a, I would love Bam. to go to the BAM. That's well, a, we put it out there. Bam, get the call in. Uh, <laughs> Yala's people. Yeah. So that's May 6th. May 6th. And you won't be stopping in Manhattan? You, you don't want to no, 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 no. Jersey. Left? Jersey is showing out. Jersey is almost sold out, and I'm not going to Jersey okay. until April. So Brooklyn tickets just went on sale. But I'm going to Milwaukee and Chicago and Atlanta, Baltimore, um, Philly, okay. Chi Town, yeah, I'm uh, um, uh, in Akron, Ohio. I don't know what the heck is in Akron, Ohio. Oh, there's some black people you, out there, so I'm gonna be there. You're gonna be there. Uh, and Columbus, Ohio, mm -hmm. and so doing 14 cities across the country. Oakland, gotta go to Oakland, going to LA. 14 wow. cities across the country on my way home. And is that all? That we got the book? The oh, book is out, the get book over it. The book gonna be out at the same time? The book is out now. Okay. Get over it. Thought therapy for healing the hard stuff. Please, 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 please. Let's do our work. Because we, you know what? We're suffering for no reason. Mm -hmm. People are suffering for no reason. I, I said this this morning, and I'm going to say it again. I don't know where it came from. But I said, you know, just think that our great, 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 great grandmothers and grandfathers laid in the bottom of a ship, chained next to somebody that they didn't even speak the same language, sure. eating slop that was thrown at them, picking it off the wall, licking it off of each other only to be unchained and sold, raped, beaten, worked like mules, and they survive. And we've fallen apart because Boo Boo leaves us after six weeks. Come on, something wrong here. Mm. We don't need to be suffering from things that are so less than who we are. But we haven't been taught how to use our minds. And for us, as a community, as a people, we have an addiction to struggle. We like it. Struggle and drama. We like it. You know, and if we don't have something wrong, some struggle, some drama going on, we think that, you know, it's not good. Thought therapy is going to help us clean that up. Mm -hmm. Because we need to use our minds to create the way that our ancestors did. Right. How did they get from Mississippi to Baltimore to get free? Mm -hmm. We can't get free from American Express card. <laughs> no, we are enslaved to the ATM machine. Forgive themselves. Mm -hmm. Forgive themselves. Yeah. For, so you know, some people can't get past their past. Well, you know what? It's what you think about it. Yeah. It's what you think about it. You know, I, I, I know that we have a lot of this in our community: molestation of children, yes. incest, violation. You know, I was raped as a child by the the male caregiver that was raising me. You know. And when I told, it was endured and denied. And I think that did more damage to me. Saying to the adults of my life, he hurt me, he did something wrong, and everybody acted like it didn't happen. And it took me a long time to realize that the only thing he took from me was, was what I was giving him in my mind. Mm -hmm. And the minute I realized that he hadn't taken my soul, my spirit, my talents, my gifts, my beautiful face. He hadn't taken my DNA. Yeah. He hadn't taken anything. So if I could just forgive his bad behavior, I could move into another way of being. But we, we, ha we're suffering. We don't need to shame. We don't need to suffer. And it breaks my heart. And I don't want us to suffer anymore. Yeah, well, it makes um, my heart feel full now that I know you're going to come into our communities now and feed our spirit. Mm -hmm. Not only from the the uh, Yala Fix My Life show. Now you're coming to us live. Yeah. And I'm hoping that you'll come back to the Circle of Justice. I will. Issue. Remember, you, you can't. I know. But you know what? We're filming. Show. My, my, you know, my it's my schedule. I never left the community. I go to the Dollar Tree. Okay? Right, that's right. <laughs> I'm talking about coming to speak into our spirits. We I can't know. see you at the Dollar Tree and get you to speak into no, our No, you spirit. cannot. Leave me right, alone exactly. in the Dollar so, Tree and the Walmart I'm glad and the to hear about this tour. And the movie theater. Can you imagine people taking pictures of yeah. me in the movie theater? Yeah. In the yeah. movie theater. Mm -hmm. okay. No, because so I not look like an eye. I'm That's standing here popcorn. <laughs> I, I pop up on somebody's Facebook page because they tag me and say Shayla was getting popcorn. Yeah, 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 right. And so 
you know, I'd be looking bad. You. That's how I keep people up off of me. I'd be looking so bad. They say, <laughs> this is what they say. They say, ooh, you look like that lady on the television. Because <laughs> I look so bad. I mean, just rip toe down. Because I have to trick them. Right. And I'm fine until I open my mouth. Once I open my mouth, it's all right. And I'm glad that you're opening your mouth. Keep your mouth open. <laughs> okay. Girl. I love you. Thank I you. Love